You know that sound when you've snapped on an injector clip? Ah, <sighs> that's how you know your weapon loves you back. I got a full line of weapon modifications I'd be happy to show you. Why, it gets you the weapon best suited for your lifestyle. Take your basic Deadeye Assault Rifle. Perfectly serviceable. But what if you like finesse? Slap a scope and silencer on that bad boy. Bunker down in a bush someplace and pop off heads. What if you like getting in close and making a lot of noise? Extended ammo magazine and a barrel heat sink to bump up rate of fire. Only takes a bit of elbow grease and a spot of engineering know-how. Most ships have a workbench near the cargo hold. Ours is in engineering. You could take your new toys over there if you feel like tinkering. Uh, no and yes. When you install something, it pops in there real nice, but if you want to replace it, the originals tend to snap like plastic toys. Right here for a start. I got a fair selection. Modified weapons are my specialty. A what? Sorry, hon. Here at Bell's Shells, we just don't discuss impolite topics, and W-A-R-R-A-N-T-I-E-S tops the list. So, what can I get you? Passing through, minding my own business. Gonna head to Varus for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in that order. Careful where you smoke. The crew bills us for air filtration. Go back to Byzantium, you gold-plated bastards. Yeah, no one wants you on Groundbreaker. These stairs are board property. Disperse now, or I'll detain you for trespassing. Oh, real scary. You're really gonna arrest us on our station? Yeah, this is Chief June Lee's ship. You don't own shit here. Step back. I'm required by board bylaws to use excessive force. The Mardettes would space you for trying, you... you waste of O2 scrubbers. Yeah, O2 scrubbers. Look, just get out of here before I tell your captain what you've been getting up to on the clock. Ah, whatever. We got a date at the Lost Hope anyway. Is this really what you want to be doing with your life, Marcy? Guarding stairs for that walking mustache oot on fucking Bedford? I gotta get off this detail. Have you seen this man? Reward offered for information leading to the capture of noted terrorist Phineas Wells. Report any sightings to your local board embassy. RT greeting, potential customer. Welcome to Auntie's Kitchen. A home-style consumable protein dispensary. May this unit dispense proteins for your ingestion. This unit is programmed to simulate shock at such assertions. Shock simulation non-functional. A trouble ticket has been filed. Wish they'd let us off station. Air up here is just recycled spacer farts.
Pemmick Red, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now, or he'll parley with the king. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling on the grill. <laughs> yum, yum. Time to feed the flames. It's nothing personal. Promise. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. No one turns their back on me while I'm holding court. Get her, boys! Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A new... Get out! <laughs> Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our realm. Back away now. I'm going Your in! Mom
Hey, McRed, were you expecting any company? <laughs> Trying to get us all in trouble? 
What do you think you're doing? I don't have time for this. If you're hungry, you've come to the right place. I've got a fresh ground batch of Spratwurst cooking. They're terrified to lock in the juices. How about a grinder's dozen? You know what Sprats are? Space rats. The laboratories of Spacer's Choice found a use for this limitless frontier resource. Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. We grind them up in sausages, then terrify them in their own juices. Terror Frying is a Spacer's Choice brand secret. A mix of 13 herbs and spices, plus a dash of modern chemistry. Absolutely not. Spratwurst, in all related terms, are registered trademarks of Spacer's Choice. Boar, the other meat, is a registered trademark of C&P. Everyone knows our company and theirs are nothing alike. Legally? No. The terrifying method was developed and marketed by Spacer's Choice. Between you, me, and this grinder? I've been through lean times. If there's one thing you learn on tramp freighters, it's how to make near anything edible. Might be that this old space hand put a few words in the right ears, and could be that Spacer's Choice liked sticking it to C&P by R&Ding our own special meat. Just as well, near about time for me to go check on the trap. I mean, to unload another crate of farm fresh sprats. Not get. CNP near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. Oh, 
Van Pee Pancake Mix now requires no mixing. Seriously, don't mix it. Are you listening to me, Emperu? You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. I am not making a scene. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? See, Emperu? We could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long, and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. What seems to be the problem? If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Ms. Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Take care. Sorry about the heat. Chief Tennyson will get the radiators fixed soon. Of course, this heat sure makes a zero-G brew extra refreshing. It's an ale that's good for what ails you. Oh, and it's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. Taste the freedom. A lot of slogans to keep track of. Sometimes I forget. Heard of it? My orientation aether wave showed that famous Saltuna cannery, which I'm sure smells as good as it looks. That's a spacious choice, beer. Take what you have, polish it up, and make the best of it. So, what can I get you? Some soap? Everyone loves soap. Everyone will love you for using it, too. Uh, no, I mean, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, uh, excellent. Yeah, that was intentional. As the face of Spacer's Choice, it's my honor to be a public figure. Who needs privacy when you have job security? I'm bound to satisfy headgear-related inquiries. Please send any complaints to our Consumer Care Headwear Division. Oh, I'm 
having a stellar day, and not just because I'm legally obligated to say so. Almost as stellar as a spacer's choice is affordable. I can see all of the top quality merchandise in the spacer's choice catalog, which is available here at a reasonable price. Spacer's Choice regrets that we don't sell toothpaste at this time, but we're always working on delivering exciting new products to our customers. Sprat Wash, Mouth Wash, and Manta Floss are among the exciting line of dental goods currently in development. You would never ask if you knew what it's like in here. I mean... Why, anyone can be a Spacer's Choice Consumer Relations Choice Specialist. Just keep your nose clean and aim for the moon. Uh, have a look. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advert. Rizzo's Purpleberry Fudge. A salt salad and Purpleberry flavored center. It's not just chew it, you can do it. How goes the hunt? I've been ruminating on it, and I decided, if you ain't killed McRed yet, I want you to hurt him a little before you do. Nothing excessive, mind you, but the scoundrel deserves a light beating at least before he kicks off. I believe I'm growing fond of you, bounty hunter. If you got the Mardettes' backs, the Mardettes have got yours. Here's the bounty payout. Nice work down there. With any luck, we can hire more sharp-eyed bounty hunters like you in the future. We're the security force here on Groundbreaker. Started back before the crossing, you know. The original force was made up of a Marine detachment from the 77th Marine Expeditionary Unit, Trailward Fleet. Folks started calling us Mardettes because it was easier to say. Guess it stuck. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Purpleberry Punch. You want a punch? We've got your punch right here. If you're here for this week's magazine club meeting, you're a touch late. Yes, dearie? 
Take that darling ship of yours down to Roseway, where that distress signal I told you about came from, and ferret out some tasty corporate secrets for old Gladys. Shouldn't be too tough for a lass like you, I'd think. What do you want, then? My hard-earned wisdom? Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what... Devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? What? I'm sorry? I'm I'm quite certain I heard Wells, Phineas Wells. But you... It's always like this with you tramp freighter captains. Fine. You're free to go. I've removed the impound order on your ship. But before you go, I did have one request. Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work.
BNP, I can't believe it's not poor. It's unbelievable. You look like someone who's taken their share of cuts and bruises. Need some armor? Maybe it's a bit secondhand, but that's only a testament to its durability. We also have a line of specialized melee weapons. For those times, you have to repel borders, but don't want to risk a bullet through the hull. Not me, but it's in my blood. After the crossing, my family worked Eridanos, indentured to the corporations. I was born in the corporate labor, but I'm the first one of my family to buy my way out. That's why I settled on Groundbreaker. It's the last bastion of freedom. Everything I sell is fresh from the forge. Technically, the metal formed billions of years ago, but it's freshly in the shape. I can hardly even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those damn repairs already. Talk to your local manager about applying for military training and lend your life to protecting our wonderful brands and products. Military service. Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. No, it isn't. It's a mess. But it's my mess, so I'll take the compliment. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Good. Don't go making trouble, and chances are you won't find any. That's how I like it here. So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. You're right, I don't. The board is after two things, bits and power, and they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. I'd like to think of myself as a nice person, but if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. 
The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udam Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. You've got my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. They want us to sweat, thinking that'll soften me up for a bad faith deal. If you'll excuse me, they can go fuck themselves. The board isn't helping and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Then you know it's a den of criminals and miscreants. Unfortunately, I'll need to ask you to return. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs. Thank you. 